Hey, Enjoy the Lifers. Welcome to the first episode of Enjoy the Kombucha, where we share our passion for this natural fermented soda. In this episode, we're going to show you our weekly ritual of brewing and decanting kombucha. Did you say kombucha? There's no reason to be scared. You're only scared because you don't know the truth. So we're going to shed some light on this magical liquid. Kombucha is produced by fermenting black or green tea and sugar using a culture of bacteria and yeast called a SCOBY, or as Margarita calls it, a SCOBY, <laughs> which stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. Cool, huh? It's a wonderfully refreshing drink full of good bacteria that helps balance your own natural gut bacteria and keeps your digestion working smoothly. At first, it's a bit spooky and has a unique smell, but soon you'll discover this delicious fermented soda is something your body needs and craves. So let's get started. Some people like to drink kombucha raw, but we like to add different fruit juices. So today we're making strawberry pineapple mango. We decided to cold press some extra green and red juice so we have something to drink while we work. Before we start the decanting process, we're going to prepare the tea and sugar mixture for a new batch of kombucha. To brew two gallons of kombucha, we'll take two cups of sugar and eight tea bags of black tea and we'll mix it with four cups of boiling water. And now we'll let that brew while we start decanting. Now it's time to bring out the kombucha. And this is the already fermented tea. It's been here for a week, so now it's ready for the canting. The first step for brewing a new kombucha is to extract a little starting liquid, okay? So from the top of the scooby, I'm just gonna take one to one and a half cup of mature kombucha. So we're gonna put this on the side. Make sure you mix it well and now we're ready to decant, which is basically extracting the fermented tea from the scoby. We start by adding a quarter cup of juice to the bottles. And then we extract the tea and fill the bottles. This is just raw kombucha, no flavor. It already tastes so delicious. So now we've finished decanting and it's time to start a new batch of kombucha. Now it's time to take the tea out and add the sugar into the tea. Make sure that the sugar is completely dissolved in the tea. This is the sweet tea ready for the scoop. Let's put it in. After we add the sweet tea, we add two gallons of filtered water. So the fermentation can start. I add my starting liquid. Just in the top where the scoop is at. This is basically brewing a new batch of kombucha. Then we cover it and let it ferment in a cool dark place. And that's it. Now we can enjoy our deliciously refreshing strawberry pineapple kombucha. This is our weekly ritual of decanting kombucha. It's so delicious. Mmm. Salud. Salud. In the next episode, we're going to show you how to start your own kombucha from scratch so you can enjoy this amazing natural soda anytime you want. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and tune in for our next episode of Enjoy the Kombucha. See you next week, little students.